Hi everyone, Sal here from the Waistcoats. Here in Italy we are very proud of our food and let's be honest, sometimes there is a little healthy competition with our French neighbors. We just got back from a nice trip in France where we played at the Chateau Le Carras, kinda close to Carcassonne in the French countryside and it was really a lot of fun. And I'll admit, the food served there was delicious. As most of you know, we're a traveling wedding band, so it's no problem for us to travel abroad or to islands in Italy. But if you travel a lot, as you know, there is always something that can go wrong. So what's the most annoying thing that can happen when you travel by car? A flat tire. What's the most annoying thing that can happen when you have to play a gig abroad? A delayed flight. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this weekend the gods have gifted us with both a flat tire on our way to Tuscany and our flight was delayed due to technical problems. But let me tell you this, the waistcoats are never, never, never late. Flat tire, no problem. Here's the thing, Italy is a nation of car nuts, so there is a so-called gomista everywhere. Actually, it's quite cool to watch them in action, feels kind of Formula 1-ish. They can repair flat tires in no time. Let's fast forward a bit. Friday we played in a neat little castle called Il Palaggio, which has been around since the 13th century. It features space for up to 180 people, a hall of arms with two pretty cool monumental family trees. The entire place feels a bit like you're in some castle from Game of Thrones, but without all the murderous stuff. And without all the nude stuff. I mean, it has all the noble stuff in it. Well, I guess you just gotta check it out yourself. Believe me, it's pretty cool. It has its own chapel and a big loggia for live music too, which is where we come in. The garden is big and beautiful and perfect for your guests to wander around and mingle. And of course, it's suited for live music as well. And before the guests arrive, you can take pretty amazing video shots around here. While me and Mr. Bruno set up the gear around the castle, Frankie and Paul made their way to the beautiful Abbey of San Michele nearby, where they provided the music for the ceremony. After a couple hours of sleep, it was time to hit the road again, bring the gear to our storage facility in Rome and get to the airport for our concert in France with our new, super mobile setup that allows us to travel with all the necessary instruments plus some extra gear that all fits into the hand luggage. Pretty cool, eh? What wasn't so cool was the fact that once we arrived at the airport, our flight was delayed by almost two hours. Seriously, EasyJet. This is like the third time this happens when we book a flight with you. We should have a chat about that. Luckily we had already considered a big buffer and made agreements with our car rental company in France to hold the car until we arrive, which allowed for a smooth and quick pickup of the car. A big shout out to Europe Car for handling this so well. Now that's how you treat your customers. I'm talking to you EasyJet. Très bien! Alors, we arrived at the location as scheduled and even had some time left to eat a little something typical French. Well, the concert went well and turned into a party that continued until 4 a.m. in the morning. Alright folks, I'm leaving you to some images from our breakfast the next morning, our little midway stop in Carcassonne to grab some food and our return trip to Rome. In the next episode we'll continue answering your questions as we did in the last episode, so if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below or on our Facebook or Instagram channel at The Waistcoats. Don't forget to like our video and click on the subscribe button below to receive our latest vlog videos, new live concert footage and some of our new, amazing, interactive 360 degree panorama videos. And remember, the waistcoats are never late.
Inshallah.